Hello friends, this video on mathematical reasoning part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Compound and component statements. A compound statement is a statement which is made up of two or more statements. Also, each statement is called a component statement. That means I can say that n number of n or n component statement This gives one compound statement. This is equal to one compound statement. So compound statement is nothing. A statement that is made up of two or more statements. I'll take my example. So let's suppose this is a component statement. Seven is an odd number. This is a single statement. which so is a component statement. We'll take one more statement. Seven is a prime number. This is also a component statement. Please remember this is a component statement, not compound statement. Because this is a single statement, this is also a single statement. If you combine these two statements, you get compound statement. Correct? And this statement is something like this. Seven is both odd and prime number. So this statement is nothing but it consists of two component statements or two individual statements. That is seven is odd number and seven is prime number. So what we have learned this compound statement is nothing but a statement which is made up of two or more statements. And each statement is called component statement. Here, 7 is an odd number, 7 is a prime number, both are component statement. Combining these two, we make a compound statement that is 7 is both one. We'll take one example. Let's suppose we take, say that 16 is divisible by 2. One statement. Another statement is 16 is divisible by 4. Second statement. And third statement is 16 is divisible by 8. So we have three statements here and all three are component statements. Correct? Because they are all individual statements. Component statement. If you combine all these, you write 16 is divisible by 2, 4, 8. What is this? This is nothing but compound statement. Correct? This is nothing but Compound statement. Why? Because this is nothing but we combine all these component statements to get one compound statement. And one compound should have minimum two statements, two or more. So in this case, we have three statements. Three statements combined to get one compound statement. Let's take some examples. We have to find the compound statement. Component statement we have to find actually. These are all compound statements. The sky is blue and the grass is green. So if you see, there are two component statements. First is sky is blue, grass is green. So these are the two component statements. Let's take more example. It is raining and it is cold. Here also, we have two component statements. First component statement is it is raining. And second component statement is it is cold. All rational numbers are real and all real numbers are complex. Here also, if you see, there are two component statements. All rational number are real is one component statement, and all real numbers are complex is another component statement. Zero is a positive number. So they, here also there is two statement. First thing is zero is positive, and second thing is zero is a number. Zero is a positive number. All a square is a quadrilateral, and its four sides are equal. So here also there are two component statement. First is a square is quadrilateral, and second a square has four sides. That means four sides are equal in the square. In square, four sides are equal. There are two components. Here also if you see all prime numbers are either even or odd. Here all prime numbers are even is one statement. All prime numbers are odd is another statement. A person who has taken mathematics or computer science can go for MBA. Here if you see the first statement is a person who has taken mathematics can go for MBA. Second statement is a person who has taken computer science can go for MBA. And we have combined this to get compounds. Similarly, Chandigarh is the capital of Haryana and UP. So Chandigarh is capital of Haryana is one statement. Chandigarh is capital of UP is another statement. You combine these two to get one compound statement. Actually, this is a false statement. So you can combine one true and false. If you see Chandigarh is capital of Haryana is true statement. And Chandigarh is capital of UP is false statement. 
So we have combined these two. Two is a rational number or irrational number. So two is a rational number is one statement and two is an irrational number is another statement. Here also if you see this is a true statement and two is an irrational number is a false statement. So we can combine true and false statement. We can combine two false statement or we can combine two. Two is a multiple of two, four and eight. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.